What do you think of, of some of the people's decisions, uh, like the Angelina Jolie, to get a mastectomy as a preventative measure? Um, if, like you said, the case of uh, being handed down genetically is mm -hmm. relatively small. Yeah, you know, these are all very personal decisions, sure. and I think that that's a good example of a decision that somebody needs to come to after a lot of information and mm -hmm. consideration. So, you know, for somebody who has a BRCA mutation, depending on the kind of BRCA mutation, they might have up to a 90% lifetime risk of developing breast cancer. That's a very high risk, mm -hmm. and that might be something that somebody is not willing to take on and carry throughout their life. And instead of being in that every six months, getting some kind of imaging and, you know, being kind of um, poked and prodded mm -hmm. to some extent, they would rather remove the risk. You know, that's a decision that some people are very comfortable with. Other women would absolutely not want to do that, and they have, you know, no desire to remove healthy tissue mm -hmm. and would rather go through the screening program. So there's no right answer to this question. I think it's most important, though, that women are given the full opportunity of options, and I think sometimes women are not counseled appropriately. They're given this test result and their only option is to get surgery. And that's really not right. It's, it's, that's one option of many.